one word in Kenya Rwanda. I haven't taken to teach me one. <laughs> okay, say um, mulaho. Mulaho? Yes, mulaho. Mulaho? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you're doing it good, mulaho. Yeah, how are you? How are you? Yeah. Mulaho. Yes. Okay. And say when you want to say that, um, what's your name? Uh, with Kwande. With Kwande? Yes. Oh, you're doing good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Can you tell us the kind of food that you liked in Rwanda? Which the kind food? Of, yeah, like food. food. Ooh, uh, the avocados. Avocados. Are amazing here. <laughs> yes. I love the avocados. I like the bananas. Yes. And I really like the little fried potatoes. Yes. Have, yeah. What about drink? Drink. Um, actually, I struggled a little bit with the coffee in the mm -hmm. beginning because I mm -hmm. thought it's, it tastes uh, quite different from uh, where I'm from. But now I'm learning and now I'm learning to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, yeah, so, and like really nice juices and all sorts of things. So, yeah, yes. it's a lot of good food and drinks here in Rome. Oh, okay. How about the climate? Mm, mm -hmm. It's my favorite. <sighs> Very it good. is. Um, it's uh, yeah. The temperature is perfect for me. Mm. Um, it's it's nice, it's warm, but it's not too warm. It's kind of sunny and it's nice. And of course, now it's the rain season, so it rains a little bit, but uh, mm. it's it's not too bad. So mm. I I prefer warm, nice climates. Okay, what well, if you go back to 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 to, to, to homeland? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, what I see that you're going to miss here in Rwanda? What I'm going to miss? Yes, um, definitely the weather. The weather. Absolutely the weather and. Mm. Um, I think just the excitement of being in a new country and uh, uh, you know every, every day is like an adventure when you wake up and uh, you look out and there's something new and mm. uh, you meet new people and you mm. learn new things all the time so I mm. think it's a constant um, it's a constant adventure being here so that I'm gonna miss that so coming okay. home is more mm. you know it's like you, you already know what's going on there okay I'm going to ask you Elpisa I don't know if you're going to answer this but I know I know I trust you uh, how about entertainment like just tell us one song that you really <laughs> that you really like. You mean one from Rwanda? Yeah, one from Rwanda or an artist that you mm. you prefer. Uh, you know what? I need to learn more about Rwanda <laughs> music. I don't know enough about Rwanda music. Um, so maybe you can you can teach me something about Rwanda music. Okay, Rwanda, okay, I will teach you tradition dance. You know uh -huh. how they do like, Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I did see that. That was beautiful. I like yeah, that. Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, we are going to share. Hey, hello guys. The Kanisa Komizineza, Homeri Hose, Homeri, Yabadi Murkwanda, Hanzi Yogo, and also the Kanimba Hiriza. Ika is a Kuna Gawa official. He sounds great. Uh, as you can see, today I'm not alone. I'm with someone beautiful lady on my side, and I would like to let her introduce herself so that you know who I am with right now. Hey. Hi, how are um, you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine too. Good. You're good, I can see. Uh, I am, yeah, I'm very happy to be here. Okay. Yeah, um, Yeah. my name is Elizabeth Leiden, and uh, I'm here at the University of Rwanda uh, right now as an expert mentor teaching the students about live reporting and news anchoring for TV and radio. Yeah, that's good. Okay, before we rush out, I would, uh, can you tell us the first thing that interested you when you reached here on in Rwanda? Oh, the first thing that interested me. Um, I think uh, I think it's a very beautiful country. I, I love the nature here. It's very like the the climate fits me very well. Mm. It's very beautiful, and I think the the people are very very friendly, very easy to talk to, mm. and uh, I feel very safe here. Um, so um, I'm I'm very yeah curious to get to know the country, get to know the people, and uh, and learn more about it. So mm. yeah, very good first impression. Okay, nice to hear that. So. Uh, let's go to our talk. So, guys, today we are going to talk about uh, Libre on social media, how to use social media. So, I'm like that I girl Elizabeth, and uh, she's going to talk more about it uh, how social media uh, can be productive to the people who use it, how social media uh, can be good, someone who is uh, familiar to it. So, that's what we are going to be talking about. So let's start by asking you a little bit. Oh, I think now you're familiar with this social media. Uh, um, I heard you that you say that you are training the uh, students in the, in the University of Rwanda. So I think now you are very, very familiar with this social media. So how, like, when just by your point of view, like, when you try to see how social media is being used, we are going to focus about, like, your 
how are they using social media these days? How do you see, uh, is it, um, uh, are they using it in a positive way? Are they using it in a negative way? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I think um, social media, has, it's become such an important part of uh, young people's lives. So I think all we can do is try to embrace it and, and use it as, as wisely as we can. Uh, and I think, um, I think social media is, is good in many ways because it connects people, right? And it makes uh, young people um, learn about all sorts of things that they're interested in. And they get to see how people live in different parts of the world. Um, they get new ideas, um, and I think also it, it helps uh, a lot of people maybe to feel less alone. If they have some problem, they can see that other people out there are struggling with the same things. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a very good way to connect uh, mm -hmm. for young people and to learn. Uh, and then of course it's, uh, it's, it's not um, only good for everyone too, and I think maybe something that can, you can bear in mind when you use social media is uh, because everything goes so fast, right? Everyone's uh, always online, always updating. And uh, I think it's, it's good to, to think about, um, uh, to maybe think twice before you upload uh, some things. Like, is this something that could potentially hurt someone? Mm -hmm. um, is this something that can be misguiding or that can, um, that can end up um, uh, um, being interpreted in the, in the wrong way? Mm -hmm. And also to think about uh, just that what you post it can be on the internet forever and mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, something that you do um, w maybe without thinking it through um, so much might get the consequences in the future so I just think it's important to just bear in mind think an extra extra time yeah. before you post yeah. Yeah. okay that's good but uh, we are now in the digital world people are using social media every day so I wonder how like how like the young generation are going to live with this social media and they try to manage how to use it you see like nowadays different from the past years okay but nowadays it's vibing it's increasing day by day so how this media we are going to like to manage how to use it so that it could not affect uh, yeah, our life everywhere we are in the world at work at school at home you see social media is is everywhere mm. so i wonder how are we going like, to manage this uh yeah it's, it's a difficult um situation i think it's probably easier for maybe someone like me when i was a kid there wasn't any social media so it's easier for me to think about a life without social media but if you're if you're raised with it of course it's, it's probably going to be harder to mm. uh to see your life without it but i think yeah it's, it's like with most things like you you want to try to find a balance right and you want to try to uh um, I mean, of course, you can have your life on social media and you can um, take that seriously, but also like not forget your friends in real life mm -hmm. and um, uh, just like the world outside of social media and, uh, and, and remember that maybe, you know, sometimes the real world is, is harder, right? It's, uh, it's, it, it can be more, um, it, it can be more of a, a challenge to be out and meet real people rather than to meet people online. Uh, so it, can, it might be feel easier to go online and to meet meet people there, but I think it's important to to always remember to uh, to combine them both and to to never forget about um, the importance of uh, being out in real life, meeting people, um, and uh, challenging yourself uh, out out in the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, how can this social media be productive to someone like you? Uh, you know, these days someone can post a, a picture, can post a video, but with no way, with no intention, just to post. Should we go there and post? Should we go there and get views and subscribe just like that? Or maybe there is something hidden in the social media and using social media because everyone is interested mm. in the morning someone can be a journalist and as well can be a social media influencer so i ask how 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 how, how someone can like use this thing in productive way mm. that can when i say productive way like in terms of money getting money earning money mm. yeah you know we have the toys Instagram. Mm. so to you which is the favorite one is are, are they all good 
when you use them in a proper ways, mm -hmm. is maybe you, you can tell us about mm -hmm. that. So even the people who are following our talk and maybe know when I use this, it can be good. When I use this, it can mm -hmm. not be good. So maybe when I would use them all, it can be good. So mm -hmm. how, how should we use them all? I think it depends on. Um, uh, who the audience is, right? Because it's it's different people on different platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, probably the younger people are probably more on TikTok. Mm -hmm. um, the generation above that might be more interested in Instagram, and then Facebook is these days mm -hmm. maybe more for a little okay. bit older people. So I think it depends on who the audience is, what platform you choose. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think you have, like when you use this social media in a proper way, you can get a lot, you can know a lot, you can like meet a lot, you can go oh, everywhere. So guys, you should use social media in a proper way. What you post, what you want to say, the video you're posting, it should be like positive meaning to your life, even to the people around you. So Elizabeth, one more to the people who, the people who are following guys, they have been interested in social media. So one word to them. You can say one word to them. I think, um, I think yeah, just uh, try to always uh, remember like the well-being of the audience and try to do something good for them, something that can benefit them, something that can help them. And um, yeah, just, uh, and, and also think, think yeah, long term, like what kind of effect can this have in the future, not just tomorrow, but also for years ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, and just, uh, yeah, think it through. Think for the, for the best for the for the audience and um, that and, and just go be creative yeah. and do your thing. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, you should be creative. You should be creative in your, whatever you do. So I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Bye guys. Bye. If you really want to know more about the Nago Fisher, you should click there, down, like, comment, share. Thank you. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Mm -hmm.